In the back room. Now. What's this all about, Jack? What's it got to do with us? Do you have any idea who that man is? For a man who's so popular, I'm surprised I don't. Goose Fat Bill. I know he is. He got that moniker because he keeps slipping out from the bars you keep putting him behind. He was found in this establishment, and that doesn't look good for you. What's going on? What's going on where? You've got some heat on you, Arthur. Your name keeps coming up. In what circles? My mum's sewing circle. I'm a blackleg sergeant, stupid. What circles do you think? Now tell me a story about a girl called Lucy, a Viking called Greybeard, and some rebel graffiti dirty in these walls. Are you writing a book? Tell me every detail. We had a quiet word with a couple of Vikings. Get back! Get back! I said from the beginning, the very beginning, I woke up. Then? Well, then I got dressed, I went downstairs, I saw the girls, Lucy was missing. Where's Lucy? She's a good girl. A nice girl. She works here. Then? Then, me and the lads took care of a bit of business, a bit of housekeeping. Everything as it should be? That's the spoil from the boats. Then? Then we heard George had trouble again last night. I right, meet me out the front. Which George? King George, Angry George, George the Dragon. Be clear, Arthur, which George? Our George. Chinese George. Kung Fu George. George? Art. We heard he'd had some trouble with the Vikings. Well, none of them are our trained. I thought you'd warned them. I did. They don't speak English good. They speak it better than you. Hold up, hold up, back up. Are you sure you didn't see someone else before you saw George? Only not. We saw Mike. What, right, Mike? Mike the spy, kosher Mike. Which Mike? Oh, you're giving me a headache. Flat nose Mike. He was trafficking furs for our vicinity without paying a commission. It's quite a load, but bigger than usual. Yeah, changed last minute, just landed on me. More is better than less. More is always better than less, Mike. More's definitely better than less, Mike. You've had a result. I'm sorry, Art. It won't happen again, I promise. You're all right, Mike. Why have enemies when you can have friends? Where'd you put the money? What money? Money? What money? Did you hide it with the rest of your coffers? You're all over the place. You can't keep your questions in a straight line. I'm trying to tell a story here, and you keep interrupting. Anyway, I don't have any coffers. Once you've taken your share, and I've looked after the weak and needy, I'm left broke. Mike and the furs. Oh, so we're back to that story, are we now, Jack? What are you doing, Mike? Sharing the wealth. Don't pass it to me, Mike. It doesn't work like that. Give it to Wetstick. I'm back, Lack. What are you giving it to me for? What was I thinking? Don't upset the boss, Mike. He doesn't handle the money. Sorry, it's been a long day. It's first thing in the morning, Mike. Did he pay? Of course he paid. He's a good boy, that Mike. Buy some lessons in street etiquette with a change. Change? There's no change, Mike. See you later, Mike. Cheers, Mike. What is this about, Jack? Rebel graffiti. A young boy. Your boy. Blue boy. And he's a good boy. Oi! What are you lot doing? Don't start getting the wrong end of the stick, Jack. He's an upstanding citizen. I think I found something that belongs to you, lad. What you doing, boy? He's coming back. Who's coming back? The Bone King. Yeah, and when he does, he'll spank your ass. And let's get your hands clean while you still got some. He'll cut them off and have you in chains. If we can catch you, they can catch you. If you can catch him, so can we. Should we go back to George in the trouble with the Vikings? So what happened? Started throwing their weight about. And then Lucy got the worst of it. Come again, George? They hurt Lucy. My Lucy. That can't happen, Jack. That can never happen, Jack. You see, she's a friend of mine. So you're gonna have to sort her out. They've been warned. They had to pay. How'd you get money from a Viking? I feel a joke coming on here. You ask him for it. You're paying, and then you're leaving. <laughs> I'm falling on to you, fighter. Nobody's talking to you, sweetheart. You sit there and be quiet. You are better at that, or I'll have to put an arrow through your lard, love, and thigh. <laughs> <laughs> you were unarmed. You just walked in there and asked them for it. That's right, Jack, and they gave it to me. They were trying on furs, the same furs as it happens. The flat-nosed Mike tried to hide from us. More is always better than less, Mike. Old Greybeard banged on for a bit. Well, I got 50 seasoned men of war. You could shave a pig on the edge of our blades. If you were unarmed, where'd you find the blade to put to his throat? Well, I borrowed it from his big silly mate after Backlack put an arrow through his lard love and thigh. Get back! That's your story, Jack. I am leaving. But I'm leaving with a year's wages. Old Greybeard surrendered his dignity. Lucy got a year's worth of wages. In the rebel graffiti exists no more because of the law-abiding, proactive blue boy and his fun-loving dad. And then, they all lived happily ever after. No, they didn't have. Because for the first time, there's something you don't know. Something nobody told you. And that is? They're under the protection of the king.